All right, everybody. Corvette Stingray C8, of course, is the car currently featured in the limited series. And uh, since I have mine fully upgraded, I have access to the exclusive series. And I've already posted the overview of what you can expect, how much it'll cost, what you get uh, back in return for completing this series or to have access to this series on a separate uh, overview video. So I'll have the link to that video in the description box below. But for this one, let's take a slightly different approach in this series. Um, and by that, normally with these series, I go tier by tier. But in this instance, um, I'm going to go over the events uh, since I can bounce around. I'm going to actually uh, maybe go through in the types of events so because the there are shorter events like autocross, speed snaps, and drag races, and so on. Although there are only two drag races, so I feel like that would be a little silly to make a video based on just two drag races. Maybe I'll include that with the uh, speed snap or something, or autocross. Anyway, there are five autocrosses, five speed snaps. Uh, that's already 10 events. Um, remember, for 25% completion, you need like 14 events done. So if you do two drag races on top of that, you're already 12 events there. There are two speed records, which is a full lap event. So at that point, you're already 14 events done. Of course, three time trials as long as you stay on track and post a valid time. They count, right? So it doesn't matter how slow or how fast you go, just for it to count towards your completion percentage, right? For your rewards. So um, yeah, so let's see if we can do some quick events here. So we'll start with the first autocross. And this one's going to be at Suzuka Grand Prix. 47.3 is the target to beat. Uh, let's see how well we fare. Here we go. Oh, slippery. So yeah, this car only featured in this bonus, uh, this this exclusive series and a single bonus series called American Classics, which you can find in the master section of the road collection. So not heavily used car, unfortunately. Anyway, we got some time to kill, don't we? There we go. Nice and easy. All right, so that is the autocross number one of five available in this series. Gold trophy number one of 51 available in this series. So one down, 50 more to go, plus three time trials, of course. All right, so. That's the first autocross done. Let's head on over to the next autocross you can find in tier four. This one taking place at Red Bull Ring Grand Prix. And the target speed or target time to beat, 44 seconds, fairly close to the Suzuka one. And Downhill, here we go. So, all right, I just need to make sure that uh, I break early enough here. There we go. All right. 
right once again we're gonna have some time to kill at the end don't we all right another easy gold trophy Alright, two down. We got three more autocrosses in this series. Alright, the next one is going to be tier 9. This one taking place at Laguna Seca. Should be in 30 some second range. Yeah, 33 for this car. Because we're starting right at the mouth of corkscrew. I guess I was a little late on the brakes there. But I have a feeling we should be a okay. Yeah, once again, a couple of seconds to spare. There we go. Casually strolling through the finish line. All right, so that is good enough for gold trophy number three or Three of the five autocrosses complete so far. So two more to go for autocrosses here. So autocross number four, we'll find it in tier 14. All right. This one at Berlin. 25 seconds and change for this one is the target. Where does this one take place? I don't even remember. I guess we guys just gotta get through all the hairpins at the beginning of the circuit. Of course, hood view would be much easier since uh, some of these corners end up being uh, blind corners otherwise Once again with some time to spare at the end But anyway, that is four out of five autocrosses done So One more autocrosses, our autocross left in this series, and that you will find in tier 18 Dubai National. There we go. Should be a shorter one 25 seconds, okay. Relatively similar to, I guess, the Berlin one. And. Here we go. Ooh. Sliding all around. Possibly the worst line that you could find here. But still. There we go. Just like that, we are done with all five autocrosses in this series. Pretty quick, right? And let's check. And it took out like maybe like five service bars, one per autocross perhaps. Right, so that's the gold trophy number five, 9% complete. There we go. 
So let's uh, do the drag races. So we got two. First one in tier three. This one taking place at Daytona. And uh, well, drag race. Yeah, drag races are drag races. There's not much to to it, right? Right. And two, three, two, one, go. There we go. Good launch. I just totally messed up the actual gear shift. Right. One opponent down, three more to go. Three, two, one, one, two. Yeah, that from first to second gear comes up pretty quick, doesn't it? Right. And a bright orange. It's like you think it's a McLaren. <laughs> All right, this one's going to be a quicker launch. One and go. Yeah, the first shift. All right, just like that, we are through, I guess, the first half of drag races in this series. And the uh, gold trophy number six. All right. And then the other drag race you'll find in tier 12. This one taking place at the other American uh, NASCAR circuit, Indianapolis Motors uh, Speedway. And this one actually is going to be the road course. Once again, does that make any difference? If you ask me, I don't think it really matters. Because if you miss the launch at the beginning, um, which is the kind of important part, it's uh, the length of the circuit, I don't think you can really catch up. I suppose the longer drag races generally works against us. <laughs> but anyway, and another quick launch here, right? Yeah. Okay, I think I got the perfect shift. All right. There we go. One down, three more. Anticipation is building, and this is a little bit slower launch. One and two and go. go and he's the last opponent for the drag race in this series all right uh, it should be a slower launch because it's like number six right in one two okay, not as slow as I thought All right, just like that, we are through another category of events in this series. All right, so seven gold trophies won.
and obviously you need to have your car fully um, maxed out in terms of upgrades which gives us that uh, double service bar bonus so now, uh, now we're through with those the other short events let's go do the speed snaps we got five of those this one taking place at Laguna Seca right after the 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 tire bridge right is the the checkpoint or the finish line for this event 199 kph generally i feel like this one's relatively straightforward one uh, depending on who your opponents are right so all this part is kind of irrelevant to our top speed that we're going to need to get. It's all about this part. Alright. A few kph to spare at the end. So that is what? Gold trophy number 8. And the first of speed snaps. So, alright. And we are about quarter way through our service bars. So yeah, we got ways to go. Alright, and the next speed step snap we'll find is going to be in tier 7 at Catalonia Club Circuit. And the target speed, 181. More like 182, right? I think it says 181.8. Alright, so where does this one take place? Uh, after the second corner, I want to say. Uh, right before you head on under the bridge, right? So, there we go. There we go about 190, 191 and change. All right, so that is a good 10 kph above the target. That's all right. And the gold trophy number what? Uh, nine, I want to say, right? Five from autocross, two from drag race, and then there was a second speed snap gold trophy. All right, the next one. Now we're 16% complete, by the way. Tier 11 is where you find the next speed snap Porsche test track, long onward circuit, 203.6. Is the target to beat? All right, where is this? Uh, after Mobile One, I suppose. Fresh King. All right, another easy speed snap here. Once again, a few extra kph to spare at the end. All right, making our way through here. And that is the speed snap number three right so next speed snap we'll find it in tier 14 this one at the 24 hour circuit and it's the tete rouge we know that this car not gonna be able to make it flat out i don't think 292 and change is the target to beat
All right, here we go. Nice. That yeah, should be a breeze now. Once again, with a few extra spare KPH on top, 297 and change. And look at that, a TSM starting to show up now. So you gotta watch out once the TSM starts getting involved, right? Because depending on the your <laughs> how much effort your friends are putting into this, some of these can be very difficult. All right, so anyway, that is the four, fourth out of five speed snaps here. Final one, tier 18, this one as Silverstone National. And the target to beat, 249 and change. So around 250. All right. And off we go. Oh, this one's not good. Mess that one up. All right, finished that last uh, for the dead last speed snap here. But look at that, it's as though it's training the bot. Slightly lower target. That's good enough this time around. Uh, should I not have let up on the guess at the end? Nah, that's good enough. Keeping it nice and close. <laughs> 248 and change. Just barely enough to get me that final gold trophy for the category. Up speed snap. Look at that. All right, and we still have quite a few service bars left. Um, but um, I think that's good. That's good for this video. Basically all uh, events that require less than a full lap here. And that gets us 22% complete. So not bad. Anyway, uh, I'll uh, see if I can get through some other types of events in the next video coming up. So stay tuned and we'll catch you in the next video. All right. Take care, guys.